Hi, I'm Caroline Brennan with Catholic Relief Services in Caritas, Bangladesh, in Shabrong Harbor in Teknop at the Bangladeshi border. And I'm here where hundreds of families have arrived this morning from Myanmar um, as refugees. Uh, they've arrived on a boat uh, across the water from the Myanmar border, which is just an hour and a half or two hours by boat um, in this direction. And um, for many of them, they describe this boat ride as just one leg of a really long journey that it took to get here. Um, there is conflict that has besieged their villages. Um, almost everyone I've talked to has described their houses being burned, either when they were near it, having to escape it, or when they fled hiding somewhere else and came back to find it in ashes. Uh, the people here who are arriving literally have, have nothing. Uh, many of them are without the family members who either were killed in the conflict or who were lost along the way, who have disappeared. I met with a mother yesterday who wants her son to come back. She um, seemed to indicate that something had happened, but she still has this hope that he's in a camp somewhere and that he'll come back. For many, most of these families, what is going to happen from here is that they will be registered by the UNHCR and the local government here and then moved into a camp. And these refugee camps are so enormous. And what's so striking about how big they are is that this is a crisis that has escalated since August. So in just that period of time, these refugee camps have grown so big that you literally get lost in the maze within them and they're organized according to blocks and areas and communities so that the relief provided is as organized as possible. But many people describe just not knowing what their options will be from here. Um, they say they would want to go back if they could be assured it was safe, but there's no guarantee for that uh, from their perspective. And their options here are really unknown. They don't have citizenship, so they can't go to work. Uh, they didn't come with anything. They've lost, if they had any wealth, they've most often lost uh, most of it or all of it. And so they're here and rather dependent really on aid right now, although most want to be working and be self-sufficient. Um, so here with Caritas Bangladesh, uh, we are providing a variety of relief uh, in the camps, reaching currently 70, 000, about 70,000 people. Uh, we imagine that number and the type of relief will grow over time. Right now it's food and cooking supplies, but those needs are certainly expanding and we'll be uh, adapting to the needs here. But I just wanted to share this with you. Um, it is a Wednesday morning here. It could seem like an easy breezy morning for most people. This is uh, a turning point in their lives and it's uh, a very difficult time for them and they need greater awareness and support. So I hope that you can share this with people you know and we're so grateful for the support that you provide to us. So thank you so much and we'll keep you posted from here.